got it. I got it. Keep going there. Ho, ho. Yeah. Good. It's starting to rain, Leah. I'm getting real muddy. Maybe we should go home now, huh? No, I'm having too much fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> Leah, don't go there. Grandpa will get your ball for you. The Mud Monster of Muddy Creek. That was an excellent report. Mm, thank you. But you do understand it was only legend, right? Yes. My grandfather told me the story when I was really little. See, in my research, I found that every town has scary stories and legends. In my research, Little Miss Perfect. Eddie? Do you have something you'd like to say to the class? Uh, no. Then please be quiet. Why do you think people come up with stories like that? People have a need to create monsters. It helps us believe that the real world isn't as scary as the monsters we dream up. She talks like a book. But of course, monsters only exist in our imagination. That's not necessarily true. There are scientists that believe Bigfoot really exists, and the Loch Ness Monster, too. But do you have proof that monsters exist? Yeah, you're looking at one. His name's Courtney. Proof? Of course not, Miss Prince. See, if I had proof, we wouldn't be having this little discussion. You've got a point there, Courtney. I know. A snake? Don't be such a chicken. It's for her. Uh-huh. A snake for a snake. Exactly. That's very thorough, Courtney. I know. Thank you. That's so excellent. You're right about that, Eddie. That was an excellent report, Courtney. And we're looking forward to hearing yours, if you can ever get it out of your computer. But it really is stuck in there. If you want to download it to a disk, I'm sure I can help you print it. Maybe Courtney can help you, Eddie. I can't wait until lunchtime. <laughs> This is going to be good. Shh, she'll know something's up. Mr. Finley, how are you? Very well, thank you for asking. And your family? How nice of you to ask. They're fine. What a kiss up. Well, you have a nice day, Courtney. You too, Mr. Finley. You're not eating? No, I left my lunch at home today. I don't really get to lunch. Then please, have a little of mine. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. Please, I insist. My mom, she always packs too much anyway. Well, thank you very much, Court. She's giving it to Finley. Great, we'll get both of them. And maybe if we're lucky, Mr. Finley will think Courtney did it on purpose. Yes? I can't. No. But it smoked salmon with cream cheese. Smoked salmon? Well, I can't say no to that. Courtney, get it off! It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's, it's just a corn snake. I'm sorry, Mr. Finley. I had no idea. Someone must have put it in my bag. Hey, just, 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 just take that away from me, please. Harmless, really. You're, you're not scared? No, 
I love all creatures. Would you like to touch it? Well, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I understand your reluctance, Mr. Friendly. Most people are afraid of snakes. Huh? Great idea, Hat. <sighs> Getting all tied up there, aren't you? No, I ain't doing it. Chicken. I know you are, but what am I? That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. You get it. No way. Are you scared of everything? No. Then prove it. Okay, you got something to put it in? <sighs> I don't want to do it. Come on, man, it's just a bug. It's a bug. to do any extra work you've already got an A plus yeah but I was hoping I can get something higher there is no such thing you sure we're in science class we can invent one I hate her <laughs> Courtney I wish there were more students like you and I wish there were more teachers like you Think about my classwork. Don't forget to shut the door behind you when you're through. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Oh god. Don't yell. It's, it scares not that time. Help! Tarantulas hardly ever bite, and even if they do, it doesn't hurt. Like the snake. It's a misunderstood creature. Would you like to touch it? Uh, no, 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 no. It's no. okay. Uh, we'll take a rain check. Observer. The Legend of the Mud Monsters was written by Courtney King. Courtney again? I think we should all give Courtney a hand. Oh, it's not every day we have a famous writer in our midst. Well, I'm not exactly famous yet. Well, you're published. That's the first step. Spare me. Eddie. As a published author, what would you say the value of writing is? 
Well, when I was a child, I used to be afraid of mud monsters. But as I started to do my research, I realized that there was nothing to be afraid of. I was basically afraid of the unknown. So I should say thank you, Miss Prince. Thank me? Why? I guess writing this report helped me confront my fears, and now I'm not scared of anything. Mm. Very good. Now I know how we can get Courtney. Look, all I'm saying is, if you're not scared, prove it. Ha. Meet Eddie and me at Muddy Creek. After school, we dare you, right, Eddie? Yeah. You two don't ever give up, do you? See, I told you she was afraid of mud monsters. No. I'll be there. I promise. How come I have to be the mud monster? Because it was my idea. So how do I look? Like, like someone covered with mud. I think she believes in them, you know, deep down. She will after tonight. It'll just hold still. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh man! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Um, Eddie. Oh. Oh. Eddie. You better hide. She's gonna be here any sec. Okay, when she shows up, I'll bring her here and you jump out and tell her you're gonna turn her into a mud monster. I can't wait to see it. Big, brave Courtney begging for her life. Um. And, uh, put some more mud on, okay?
it's just me, Eddie. Eddie, listen to me. There's a real mud monster out there. There's no such thing. I'm not kidding. We gotta move. Look, there's no such thing. Think about it. Monsters aren't real. I saw Eddie. You're just imagining. It was probably just the fog of the swamp or something. Isn't it interesting how people keep on trying something that has no chance of succeeding? Here we have two adolescents of average or below intelligence trying to outwit an adolescence of much higher than average intelligence. I'm not bragging, I'm just stating the facts. But what is really interesting is your persistence, what keeps you going. Mm. It reminds me of some lab rats I once saw in some science experiment. Lab rats? They keep on shocking the poor little things, but they keep on insisting to have their food pellet. Can you believe her? Kind of pathetic when you think about it. M Mud! 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 A monster! Oh, a mud monster! A mud monster is behind me, I see. Don't interrupt. I can feel your anger. But why? That's what we need to look at. Now, isn't that better? Now, we have to talk about your aggressive behavior. You can't expect sympathy from people if you're always attacking them, you know. Well-adjusted monsters just don't do those sorts of things. Correct me if I'm wrong, but inside this monster we all see, I think we have an emotionally wounded creature. It wasn't until I admitted to myself that there was nothing wrong with being perfect, that I was able to totally accept myself. Is to work on your self-growth and definitely do something about your impulsive behavior. Hear me out. Hello there. Hello. Are you even listening to me? Courtney, when did you first realize you were dealing with a monster? As I told the president earlier, when he phoned to congratulate me, I always suspected that there might be some truth to the legend of the mud monster. I think I'm going to be sick. Only Courtney could talk a mud monster to death. I also told him that being a hero comes with lots of responsibility. That's why saving the lives of two frightened little boys, Hat and Eddie, was something I had to do. Oh, brother. I'll never forget the look of absolute terror in their little faces. Oh, darn the rain. Shall we reconvene at City Hall? Yeah, just a big dirt clod. Thank you.